Hi, this is Shadi and today it's gonna be Judo versus Schwingen. This is long overdue. It's a great grappling art. I'm gonna try to cover as much as I can with folk style wrestling. So this one, in my opinion, it's one of the best that I cover. So today it's gonna be like I usually do, go a little bit over the tradition, the rules and compare some techniques. So when it comes to Swiss Schwingen, the earliest uh, record of wrestling in Switzerland goes back to the medieval era. However, the Schwingen in and of itself uh, has no evidence of when exactly it started. So uh, when it became a little bit more of a sport, it was at the beginning of the 19th century in the festivals. So um, the activity that was between the farmers and the shepherds uh, leaked into the masses and it became a national sport and finally by 1895 the Schwingen Federation was established so when it comes to the tournaments you have these 12 diameter circles uh, all covered with sawdust this is not sand uh, it is done and prepared so people will avoid injuries of course the matches have three referees one in the ring and two that are outside so the rules are you have to put someone down for 10 points uh, an ipon throw is considered 10 points a pin as well you can collect points and in the tournament the two with the most uh, points will fight in the battle at the end for the final match and the prize is cattle as you see here uh, by the winner so you have six fights or eight depending on the tournament and th those who fight with the most points in the sixth, uh, fifth fight or the seventh fight will get to go to the final so this is what i really appreciate about this uh, folk style is that it has groundwork unlike a lot of them where you if you even scraped the ground with your fingers uh, you will lose but here the pin so obviously there is groundwork and this one here this turnover looked very much like a sankaku turnover uh, minus the triangle and here you can see you grip uh, the belt and you put them on their shoulders i'm not sure if the guy is a judoka but it's very much like housing has um, turnovers or the yoko sankaku that we do in judo um, so but again i'm not sure if this was has been discovered by them at the time because it's not a triangle per se but the turnover the body positioning etc it's very much like a sankaku another great example of modern sankaku gatame is daria bilodid um, here you see she stitches it before she even turns around which is uh, really good and really creative she comes in from the side rather than from the front which gets her more chance of stitching the triangle so now here you can see let's see some throws this is obviously a squinage from between the legs and then you turn them over or what people call te guruma um, here let's take a look at a demonstration of squinage uh, it can be done in multiple ways as long as you scoop your opponent by one leg or two legs it's a scooping throw here you see from un between the legs it is grabbed so the cloth that they call jute which is made of very solid fibers it can be grabbed so that's also another thing is that the gripping is free when it comes to schwingen it's not like um, backhold wrestling or irish collar and elbow where the hands are fixed but it is more free uh, and you can get creative with the gripping like judo and boch so here it's um, a sukuinage done from as an uchimata counter and rolled over scooped up and rolled over here let's take a look at the gripping so you can let go and go into like a harai goshi let's see it again so he lets go he cups the tricep still holding on to the belt and goes down for a harai goshi gets him to the side so here he does not win but he can get into a pin so this is Harai Goshi. A lot of people know what it is from the MMA circle, Jiu Jitsu and Judo. Of course, in France, it is particularly popular. So many people use it as their Tokuyuaza. So Harai Goshi, I'm not surprised. It's found in many folk style wrestling styles. Here you see the gripping gets very creative as well. 
uh, grabs the bottom of the shorts from the front and here goes for like a, a Yoko Otoshi it's brilliantly done laces the hand um, and then gets them down so the way he laced the hand can also be done to the back which can be considered um, a Tani Otoshi so but going to the side and blocking with the leg putting it on the ground is none other than Yoko Otoshi so let's go into the pinning um, pins are obviously gonna be very much in common with judo as well since the human body is one all over the globe here it's kuzure kami shiho tatame you have one hand over your opponent's hand and the other is underneath and you pin them from a diagonal position kuzure kami shiho gatame as you see here written on the screen it's very effective and it's one of the hardest to get out of and also you can easily get submitted from this position um, from like a paper cutter choke or juji jime kuzure kami shihogatami now here how he's holding the arm and um, the torso it's kuzure kesa gatame but instead of under hooking the arm he is uh, gripping the torso wrapping it with his arm and pinning the other arm the same way the judoka is doing here so kuzure kesagatame again um, it's very easy to pull off and at the same time it's very hard to escape it now this one here is your ko uchigake brilliantly done did not get to score the 10 points but finished here into a pin kuzure kesagatame as well Let's see it here in competition in judo. Brilliantly done, but you have to have very good control of the upper body and hooking the leg from the inside or hanging your leg from the inside. Gake means to hang, comes from the verb kakemas, to hang. You can hang a painting, kakemas. So, this is mainly it. Uh, there's obviously a lot more techniques uh, present, but in terms of the wrestling style itself it is amazing there's a lot of groundwork they practice and also a lot of good throwing and gripping tactics so it's a very rich uh, wrestling style in my opinion and it deserves a lot of attention schwingen comes from the verb swing and i'm glad it is uh, a very present sport being practiced and having festivals around it it did not die out like other folk style uh, wrestling. So if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.